Welcome to episode two, Getting Started with KiCad, version nine. In the first episode, we covered the plan for this tutorial and how to install KiCad. In this episode, we're gonna start using the schematic editor. This process is often called schematic capture or schematic entry. This important step is where you tell KiCad how you want your components to connect and what footprints you want your parts to sit on when we get to the PCB editor for the layout portion. Before you open KiCad, let's create a folder to keep your KiCad projects together. I use a folder named KiCad projects in the documents folder. I encourage you to pause this video and do the same to keep things smooth as you follow along. As you open KiCad, you will see the project manager window. From here, we can create new KiCad projects and launch the various programs that make up the KiCad suite. To begin, we need to open a new project. Either hit File, New Project, or hit the top left icon which says New Project if you hover over it. This hover over feature is used all over and can help you discover what each thing does as you learn KiCad. I'll navigate to my KiCad projects folder like so and create another folder and name it water alarm. If a pop-up called check for updates appears, keep the default selection and click OK. If this is your first time using KiCad, you will likely get many pop-ups with similar questions. I recommend you stick with the default and hit OK each time. You should see the files in your project on the left. Just a blank PCB file and a blank schematic file. To open the schematic editor, you can either double click on the schematic file or on the schematic editor icon. You should see a red colored border with numbers and letters that look like blank draft paper. The bottom right contains some fields that provide information about the schematic. Filling this out only takes a minute and can help you know what version you're looking at, especially if you print it out. To do that, go to File and Page Settings or click the icon third from the left. In the window that pops up, click the three arrow button to copy today's date into the date field. In the next line, you can use whatever versioning system you like. I like to use the current month and year. Later, I'll write the same month and year on the PCB somewhere so I know it's based on this particular schematic. We'll write the title as water alarm and leave the company line blank. The comment lines appear in reverse order. So we'll write author, your name, in the fourth comment line, so it will appear on the top. Click OK, and you should see the title block filled out with your information. Before we place anything, look here to see that the default grid is at 50 mils. Everything in a schematic is just representative, so dimensions aren't really a thing here. It's just to tell what pins to connect to what once we get to the PCB editor. If you change the grid to something weird, wires may have problems connecting. A recent helpful feature with this known KiCad trip up is the grid overrides button. With grid overrides, you can make fine adjustments to the location of your text without needing to change the main grid like in the past. Very helpful as this makes it less likely to ever need to change your main grid from 50 mils. Click place symbol or A for add to change to the place symbol mode. I recommend practicing the hotkeys as we go. I find them very intuitive and helpful. Use the search at the top to jump to the symbols you want. This feature saves you a lot of time. Type R, S, M, select R small US and OK. Click to drop it into an open area. Notice that your cursor changed to an op amp triangle symbol. This happened when you switched to place symbol mode. Next, Either hit escape on your keyboard or click the select button at the top right to exit place symbol mode. Then double click on R small US to change it to 10 M for 10 mega ohms. Click the place symbol button or A to open the choose symbol box again. Now we'll type C, S, M and pick that capacitor. This time, try double clicking on the title. It's a bit faster than hitting okay. 
Move the capacitor to the right of the resistor and click once to place it. Notice the capacitor symbol is highlighted blue. The properties window has the attributes for that symbol shown. Change the C small value to 1 NF for 1 nanofarad. You can hit escape or the arrow button to return your cursor to the select items tool to move them around. There are two more ways to navigate without changing the zoom. Hold control and then scroll with your mouse for panning left and right, or hold shift and scroll to pan up and down. Hit A to add jack for jack DC and place it to the lower left. Our cursor shows us that we're still in the place symbol tool. So just click once to open the choose symbol box again. Now type 01x02 and choose the screw terminal 01x02 symbol and place it above the jack. While it's highlighted, you could hit R to rotate it, but flipping it would keep the numbers ascending. Hit the button at the top to flip it horizontally or hit X as shown in the hover over message. You can also right click on a symbol to get all of these options and more. Notice how many options come up when you right click. KiCad offers quite a lot when right clicking here and in the PCB editor. For VCC and ground, you can use the same process or use this add power symbols tool. It just narrows down the symbol options for you. Most schematics are drawn with ground on the bottom and VCC on top, so we will too. For the MOSFET, let's go shopping on DigiKey's site. The best way to use the site is to type in just enough to get to a subcategory so you don't limit your choices. We'll type in MOSFET, then click on Single FETs MOSFETs. We'll select In Stock, Through Hole, and apply all, then sort by price, and 2N7000 for the win. Most of KiCad works by using generic symbols and generic footprints. There are some atomic parts, meaning the symbol and footprint are tied to a part number, ready to go. 2N7000 is one of them. Hit A to add a symbol and enter 2N7000. Notice that it already has a TO92 footprint. One rule to remember when using any provided library, a famous saying from President Reagan, trust but verify. Always double check everything or else. We can check the pinout on the data sheet and we can see the source, gate and drain match up. So we don't need to choose or change a package later. We'll place that symbol on the far right side. We can clean up our symbols by hovering over cluttered text and hitting delete to hide them, like this. Another way to edit visible symbol values is to double click on them. I like to move the labels in tight and bring the symbols in close. Let's wire up what we have. Either hit W for wire or click on this button. This wire will create a net, a rule that tells KiCad what connects and what does not. This will change your tool or cursor. You can also hover over a symbol pin. This is a temporary way to wire a pin without switching to the wiring tool. You can hit M to move a symbol or G to grab symbols. Grabbing keeps the nets connected, but move does not. This feature lets you draw at 45 degrees. Most schematics stick to 90, so use 45 sparingly if you want to get less heat from more seasoned geeks. Your schematic should look like this for now. The buzzer symbol is the last one needed. We could use the one from the library, but chances are high that you'll want to know how to create your own symbol in the future. In the next episode, you'll get your chance. See you soon.